my friends, this is Katya with Total Body Lab and today's daily digest is going to be on EMS and no, not the one that comes to pick you up when you fell over drunk and your friends forgot you uh, that's electromuscle stimulation uh, I was at the vegan pop-up market organized by Triangle Veg Fest yesterday in Raleigh and there was a company called Body 20 uh, not sure what 20 stands for but that is uh, a franchise of fitness studios or boutiques where you can wear like this suit with electrodes that basically tase your muscles. They like make it contract however many times a minute that they told me and they can be more intense, they can be less intense. So, you know, I was, I had a booth there too. Um, I was there with a couple clients who volunteered Thank you so much, Michelle, Carol, and David, for volunteering, by the way. Um, and the ladies at the Body 20 booth saw that I'm an athlete, and one of them, I think, power lifts. Not the main one uh, who was teaching me later, but uh, some other lady who was like, Oh, yeah, like, I know you from Instagram. Uh, you do this, this, this. And I'm like, cool, yeah. She's like, all right, like she didn't offer me to try anything. But the main lady who doesn't know what powerlifting is, I think she does classes on just like regular fitness. Um, and she's certified with their equipment or machines. She was like, yeah, you're an athlete. So like we have equipment for athletes. We, we are a small studio. You should totally come check us out. You love it. So she was trying to just like sell me their membership, I guess, and so that I can come work out. And I was like, uh what kind of gym is that and she's like yeah it's a ems gym she had to explain ems to me uh i'm not gonna explain it really well right now uh but you can look it up um it's a relatively simple technology i think but the outcomes are not as well researched and i've seen that stuff before like in the abs uh advertisements from the 80s or from the 90s uh, you know when they would sell you stuff on TV and you gotta like call this number on the phone and there's this just sweaty jacked dude that he has this like belt on the abs and it contracts his perfectly chiseled abs and they're like yeah you just lay on the couch or do your work and wear this belt you gotta get a six pack and I, I was like very young I think it was like four or five when I remember those ads Sometimes they were translated, so like I grew up in Russia, right? And they were like translated from American ads. And I was like, oh my God, like I'm gonna grow up and I can just buy this thing that's gonna like work out for me, holy shit. So um, I'm walking at a state park and there's a guy in his camper van that has like everything, everything, everything. I want that van to travel, <laughs> that would be so cool. Um, anyways. I didn't know how that stuff worked. It was just very well put advertisement campaigns. Um, but I haven't seen that stuff since. And now, apparently, there's a studio where you can put that shit on your arms, on your legs, she said, on your glutes, on your back, everywhere. Uh, so your muscles are working out without any effort of you, your own. Kind of cool, yeah? My right arm is tired holding my phone. It's actually quite an exercise walking and filming on your straight arm. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, the, the coach lady uh, was like, yeah, you, I can see you lift. Uh, she looked at my booth, saw that I have like bodybuilding information, powerlifting information, that I've done both, and um, assumed that that stuff is totally up my alley. Uh, so, the test was for the arms. So she put this like vest on me that I think had the... Uh, wires and strapped little like biceps uh, straps on me that were probably like maybe two inches or one and a half inch wide and they just go around the arm and they had electrodes on the biceps and on the tricep side uh, so she gave me two stress balls that were both less than a pound in weight they were kind of like jelly stress balls and told me to do curls with them and I was like uh, you have weights? She's like, yeah, you like feel the contraction. And I'm like, I mean, I can c contract my muscle without any weight, but wouldn't it be like more effective with the weight? She's like, no, 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 no. The electromuscle stimulation suit is going to 
make it hard and you just move your arms. So I basically had to contract my biceps and move my arms like a curl. And then we did, I think, three sets of 10. And by 10, I mean 10 seconds and then 10 seconds rest. And then 10, 10 seconds, 10 contractions again. And then the same thing for triceps. And I just bent over and she had me do like triceps extensions. So <laughs> she was constantly asking how hard was it? Can I move? What RPE is it? And I'm like, lady, I don't have weights. It's RPE fucking zero. But I guess the tingling, she made it like more and more with every set, which supposedly was gonna make my life harder, but it was just uncomfortable because it felt like she was tasing the crap out of my biceps, you know? <laughs> Look at those idiots. B, why you lay down? You're gonna get muddy. I don't want to wash you again. Oh man, good job. Such a pretty day. Oh my god, this is how I die. No, no, don't run into me, please. <laughs> it was my decision to walk two dogs in the end. <laughs> Boy, challenge accepted. Yeah, so it was funny wearing the EMS suit and having my muscles taste. And the funniest thing that was that after she took everything off and, you know, gave me the first day for free kind of card, uh, I was like, is there any research uh, to prove its effectiveness? Or do you know a single athlete who has used this and got any results for you know, whatever their goals are with that thing. She was like, yeah, our founder or our owner. It's either found franchise founder or owner. I don't remember. Um, so she showed me his photo and it's basically a bodybuilder just using his stage photo for advertisement, which like I do too, except I use it to advertise my coaching for bodybuilding which is applicable <laughs> but i was like okay that's great that you have like pictures of this guy that's wonderful but like research science um she just gave me another free day uh card and uh we called it a, we called it that and uh i texted her that um Maybe she should send some studies my way. I would love to look into them. Like, I legit don't know of anything that has come out that is for or against EMS. I just haven't heard it before. But um, in order to get shredded, you need diet for a while. So even if this thing works your muscles, which, like, in theory, it could. And she told me I was supposed to be so sore today. My arms feel normal. By the way, I benched and squatted in the morning. So I feel like if they're sore at all, that would be from bench and squat. Not from the tasing machine, muscle tasing machine. I'm just going to call it muscle tasing machine. That's so much more fun. Uh, yeah, so if you guys know of any studies that prove effectiveness or ineffectiveness of electro muscle stimulation, dog, stop! Ugh. Please uh, post a link in the comment. I would love to look into them. So far, uh, I don't feel like that thing does anything at all. Uh, in terms of weight loss, definitely not. So for you folks who are curious about it, if you try it, please don't expect any like extraordinary results in terms of changing body composition because that comes from what you eat. Uh, in terms of folks who are looking to get stronger, I feel like you need to start with very, with the very basic, you know, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. The foundations of strength have been the same throughout the years. Right? The foundations for endurance training have been more or less the same throughout the years, right? If you want to run more and faster, run more and faster. You got to try harder. If you want to lift more weights, if you want to squat more, you got to squat more. If you want to deadlift more, you got to deadlift more. Of course, you got to have a periodized program, not overtrain, sleep well, recover well, eat well. If you want to recompose, you know, change your macros ratio, track your stuff for a little bit, see if you have enough protein. Um, experiment with dropping your carbs a little bit. 
seeing if you like that versus dropping your fats a little bit. How does your body respond to that? If you don't know what to do with any of that, you're welcome to email me or message me on any social media and uh, I'll give you some tips. Make sure to ask specific questions and not like, ooh, how to lose weight. Be like, yo, I'm this age old. I've been an athlete for blah, blah, blah years. Uh, right now I do this and this. Uh, this isn't working. This is my question kind of thing, right? Like when I was asking the body 20 lady, uh, who is are their target audience? Who is this for? Maybe it's for like older people who can't really do much because they can't like move their joints really well. They can't walk. Like that would make sense to me. She's like, no, it's for everybody. It's for you. You're an athlete. And I'm like, yeah, but my sport, do you know what powerlifting is? And she's like, um, yeah, totally lifting. And I'm like, power lifting. <laughs> like I wasn't trying to be a dick. I was like, do you know what this is? And she was just evading the question, clearly not wanting to say, I have no fucking idea. But it's okay to say, that's not my sport. I don't know. Like, I don't know much about decathlon. No idea. How to train for that? Mm -mm. You know, stuff like that. It's okay to say you don't know. Um, anyways, I was asking if they have barbells at the gym or if this stuff is good for like younger, relatively athletic people. You know, just seeing what she says, because I think it, it isn't, but maybe she would have opened a new world to me. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I do think that like body weight PT and stability training would be better, especially like for the hips, for the knees, for people who are kind of older and they cannot do much. They can do, they would like bands, assistance, squats, for example, deadlifts without weight or with assistance, pull-ups with assistance, just like everybody else who can do a body weight pull-up, just work it up slowly. And folks who do powerlifting, like, that's a skill, okay? So it's not just about looking jacked, like bodybuilding, right? Which I think she was convinced that those were the same thing. And a lot of people who aren't in the sport do think it's the same thing. So no judgment here. If you have no idea what's the difference, Check out the video on my channel that's called Bodybuilding versus Powerlifting. What's the difference and which one is for you? <clears throat> it's a really well put video with examples, not like this one when I'm walking in the forest and bitching. And all you see is the dog's butts. <laughs> go, go baby. Um, so yeah, Powerlifting is about the skill. So even if this machine worked separate muscle in isolation well, let's say it did. And Let's even say it burns calories, okay? Let's say it makes me strong, makes each individual muscle stronger, just in theory. And let's say it burns so many calories that I'm actually going to lose weight, right? Lose fat. Man, everybody wants that. Let's say in our world, it did that. I would still not be able to gain any powerlifting skills from that machine because you have to practice a skill in order to make it better. You have to do more squats in order to be a better squatter. You have to try to do a pull-up rather than just separately slap some electrodes on your traps and your lats and make those muscles look amazing. There's a difference between the looks and the uh, strength and health and longevity. And people like to just shove it all in one bucket and be like, yeah, I'm, I work out to be stronger and more beautiful -er and live longer. Which like, yes, training does all of those things, but you still can train differently to prioritize one of those things a little more than the second and then a little more than the third, right? If you're kind of doing it for longevity, that's so much easier than to be the strongest person you can be, right? For example, if you train to be the strongest person you can be, you probably eat more protein than you need just to maintain your muscle. You need you eat a little too much, actually. And some of that is going to, to waste because your body can't process it, for example, if you ate too much fiber at the same time. Uh, if you're training for aesthetics, for example, you want to shred uh, get very lean to do a really cool photo shoot. That's awesome. 
but you're probably going to get unnaturally lean. Uh, you're going to get very hungry. You may even get dehydrated for that. Uh, your skin may reduce quality, your hair, uh, your nails, your teeth, because people aren't made to walk around unnaturally lean unless they are genetic freaks and they just happen to. I know some people who are just walking around with six packs without having trained at all, just because they're skinny. Uh, and some people who are also able to be very strong and very lean, those are even rarer. But there are people like that. Unfortunately, that's not me. I gotta choose. Right now, I choose to be strong and not lean, which is cool. I ate like three waffles this morning. It was amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, then you see my aesthetics is not my primary goal and I have to sacrifice some of it, right? And like, for example, my dad. My dad trains for longevity. Yeah, he looks great. He's 70. But if he was trying to look great, you know, only look great throughout like his whole years in my family, we are, we retain a little more fat around our midsection. So he probably wouldn't, would, would be a little less healthier if he was trying to take that to the extreme at all times. Let me know if this makes sense. Um, anyways, my shoulder is extremely tired from holding the phone. So I hope this video was informative. And let me know if you like rants like this on the modern exercise technology, the groundbreaking new secret special, uh, what other marketing words can I put in here? Um, trade secrets to just make you ultra strong and ultra beautiful. Anyways, uh, until next time, like, subscribe, send messages on Instagram or comment your questions. Bye.